Hi everyone, um, I am here with a long promised and very late Primark haul. Um, I went to Primark, let's think, my mum was admitted to hospital on the Thursday and I had a blog event the following Wednesday in Metro Centre and I wasn't going to go, I hadn't slept, felt awful, felt like basically um, and then I thought look if I don't go I, there's nothing I can do at home I'm just going to spend the time mooning about it so I went to the blog event and I went to Primark so it was a good night killed us off was useless for the next two days but um, I managed to go to Primark and that is the only visit I've had since then when I went to June obviously and that's the only visit I've had I do want to go back um, there was a couple of things I saw which will probably have long gone then there were some lovely stripy trousers I saw that I really liked but um, never got back so as I say I just picked up a few things I didn't actually get a lot because I knew I was going to have to carry it around um, to the event uh, which basically ended up in a hilarious popcorn explosion yeah, if you were there, you'll know what happened. I wasn't the only one that did it, though. I wasn't the only one that did it. A few people had spilled their popcorn as well, so I wasn't the only one. Anyway. Primark. Primark bag. So, Primark. I initially went because I'd saw a cushion online. And I've, I don't know if anyone... I, I don't want to see appears to have bought this cushion. So whether this cushion hasn't made an appearance or it's just no one else's taste bought mine. It was an ice cream cone and it had like sort of like fluffy pom pom -y balls but it was a cushion on the top and I really liked it and they didn't have it, they didn't have it but they did have this and yeah I'm not going to say a word, I'm not going to say a word I need upside down Pusheen I know, I know, I'm a middle aged woman nearly-ish probably yes I just think it's so cute it's so cute and it feels lovely it's that gorgeous like velour microfiber stuff and it feels gorgeous and i already have the pushina's mermaid i have a little pushina's mermaid toy toy i know <laughs> scary old but i just couldn't resist it's absolutely gorgeous this was the cushion and it, it was six pounds so i couldn't resist that and it's lilac and my room's lilac so all good <sighs> look you can my mum still has a teddy bear in her bed so you know you're allowed teddies and things who says just because you're old you can't have a teddy bear or something to cuddle or a cute cushion with a cat on so that was that that was six pounds um i'm just randomly pulling things out again right this is a primark designer collaboration you never thought you'd say that did you no in the days when people were like in eh, primark and looked down their noses at it but not anymore this is one of the um designed by henry ha holland from the house of holland raising funds for graduate fashion week and exclusively for primark now there are a couple of different tote bag designs and i went for this one which was can't stop us can't stop what mm, that's what you that's for me and knowing you to find, find out so yeah it's just a shopper bag um i needed a shopper bag at the time i needed one um i've still got the tags on um, i hadn't taken enough carriers for what i needed to do i needed milk from poundland and stuff so i had to bring some stuff back so that ended up buying a little tote bag so that was that they also had a cat design i know they had, there was a couple of different designs and basically i'll just read the blurb um the story behind the bag international women's wear designer and graduate Fashion Week Global Ambassador Henry Holland has joined force with Primark to create an exclusive range for bags for spring summer 18. Um, he was cut up with basically a history of Henry Holland um, graduated for the limelight for his slogan designs, Flip My Bean for Agnes Dean, um, Buy Me Colleen, I think he did one for uh, Wayne Rooney's wife, I think he did one for her as well. Um, yeah, so that's Henry Holland and it's basically about supporting new talent and supporting Graduate Fashion Week. Made with sustainable cotton and £1.32 from the sale of each bag will be donated to Graduate Fashion Week. And I think it was £3. £3. But it's a nice size actually and I like the straps are quite long as well so you can put it over your shoulder. So that was that. Then I got this which is a scarf. Um, I love scarves. I also love monochrome. I'm loving black and white stripe at the minute. I always love black and white stripe. I'm a Newcastle fan. What else? But I love black and white stripe. I'm loving anything stripey at the minute. Um, and I couldn't resist this scarf. Now, I thought this was a little bit expensive for Primark. And then I went online and had a look at one somewhere else. And they wanted 26 for something similar. And I thought, okay, Primark, you're not as dear after all. This was £6. And what I'm going to try and do is show you this. Basically, it's a black and white scarf with sort of pink and blue floral pattern on it. So you can see that there. What you probably can't see though is that it is actually slightly textured. So it's got like these little, 
Can you see that? You can't really see them. You see, I've had a hard time making them short in the photos as well. Maybe you'll see them better on the, can you see them better on the flowers? There, you can actually see it a little bit better on the flowers. The slightly raised bubbles all over the scarf. So it's got a sort of bubbly texture. You can see on the back, actually, if you see where the white bits on, the white spots are on the back, that's where all your bubbles are. Um, so they're slightly raised and it has a pom-pom trim, which is everywhere at the moment. Pom-poms are everywhere. I love a pom-pom. Always loved a pom-pom. So yeah, trimmed. It's really long. I've got a couple of black and white dresses. In fact, I've got three black and white dresses, stripy dresses now. Um, and I just think that would look really nice, just draped over. Again, lovely long size, nice. Six pound, as I say, a little bit dear for Primark. I remember when they would do something like this for about three. But when you look anywhere else, still cheap. So that's that. Long line tees again. Um, huge fan of Primark's long line tees and vests, as you know, because I've got quite a few. Um, stripy ones, including quite stripy ones, but this one is actually a nice one. This is charcoal grey. I actually wanted to wear this the other day, but I hadn't photographed it for the blog and I hadn't talked about it on here, so I didn't. But um, charcoal grey, it's one of the like a real staple colour. It's not quite black, it's not quite, it's not navy, it's not black, it's not like grey mall, really pale grey. But I think it's really nice. This was £3.50. They're very stretchy and they're nice and long and they cover my worst bits, aka my tummy. If I could just get rid of my tummy, I think I would be happy because I don't mind my bum bits and the rest of it, but it's my tummy. But um, I really like these, really good length. It's looking a bit blue on here actually, but it is actually more grey grey. It's more like it is a proper charcoal rather than the blue that it's shown here, but it's a bit mauled, sort of a charcoal mauled. But really useful, you can wear that with anything. Um, blah, blah, blah. What next? What next? cardigan yes I know it's spring summer and I'm not gonna lie so far in the UK we've had some beautiful days we've had some really nice hot sunny weather horrendous thunderstorm last week but we've had some up here anyway flooding and everything near where I live but um we've had some really nice weather and it's actually been really nice today as well so I'm really hoping this means we're gonna have a proper summer for a change which we don't often in the UK we normally get about four days and that's it and then Americans a lot of American people why don't you have air conditioning we don't need air conditioning it's never warm enough to justify air conditioning um so yeah well ho I'm hoping we're gonna have a nice summer but hey cardigans I love cardigans my mum loves cardigans I don't know what it is about a cardigan, especially when you're a bit curvier. If you just, you can put on like say a long tee, a pair of skinny jeans or a pair of leggings and just throw a cardigan on over the top. And you're like, you feel dressed. I mean, you could, you feel casual as anything or you could dress it up with some boots and some jewelry and just you'd look fine. And yeah, cardigan. Now this one is a sort of boyfriendy style, but as you can see, it's got, it's a rib detail. The sleeves are slightly strange. It's got a sort of gathered sleeve. And it's really long and it's sort of, what colour do they describe? They describe this as stone, but it's probably sort of a mockery colour. And It's really, really soft. It's obviously, it's all synthetic, but it's really soft. And this was the price tag on it. And that's what I bought it as. Got to the tail. Apparently it had been on a sale rack. I don't, it wasn't. I, I seem to have an issue with knitwear and Primark sale racks. So it turned out it was only five pounds. So I was like, yes, that was a bargain. That was meant to be, that will, I'll be able to wear that like season in, season out. I'll wear that on colder summer days. I'll wear that in the winter. I'll wear that in the autumn with obviously autumn shades. That'll look brilliant. And it was a fiver, so I'm not gonna argue. And as you can see, it's quite chunky and it's quite long. So it was really good value. That was a bargain. I'm really pleased with that. I would happily have paid the third in, but didn't need to. Next, beauty, 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 beauty. Um, Primal cubic oil. Now I've actually I actually got two of these, so I've got one of the one of them open. Um, this is brilliant. I've used and swore by OPI Avaplex for years, um, and then I found this, and I realised there was no need to spend whatever I'm, I was spending on OPI Avaplex. This is just as good, and it is a pound a bottle. I think it's a ten ml bottle, and it's a pound. Um, it's got avocado oil, and I think. And it is really moisturising. It does actually absorb, unlike some cheap ones. It doesn't just sit on the surface. It does actually absorb into your nails. Don't look too closely at my nails. I had like two and a bit weeks of hospital visit and it's hospital grade sanitizer. Oh, my, it completely wrecked my nails. The funny thing is, my mum's nails while she was in hospital grew. 
she has looked her nails are the best they've probably ever looked and mine are awful through visiting and the, all the grids the sanitizer it was just horrible every time I went I was my nail varnish one time my nail varnish literally peeled off it was that strong so my nails have been really dry so don't look too closely I've got a couple of nails of the day up late on the blog but they weren't ones that I've shot recently um they've gradually got worse I don't know why but anyway this stuff is as good as anything on the market um I bought a couple of bottles and then actually I found one I've, the trouble is I've actually got box, bottles of this I've got, I think I've got one downstairs I've got one upstairs I've got one in where my um where I usually blog my blog room I've got one in there um I think I found one in the bathroom cupboard um I've got them all over the place really um they really are that good um if you're looking for a cute look oil this is as good as anything um, as I say, I have an OPI Avaplex in its original formulation. I've never actually tried the new Pro Spa version, but um, it was good. But this is just as good. I just think this is just as good for the price. So keep buying this, and I will keep buying this and stocking up. If ever I feel low, I'll panic. I, I actually was starting to panic because I couldn't find any. And I actually went in and I bought two bowls. So definitely recommend this. So what else? A couple of more beauty things. Right, with when my mum was in hospital, um... I didn't sleep very well. You don't. You're stressed out. You're not thinking straight and all the rest of it. So I kept falling into YouTube wormholes. And no, I don't mean the wormholes um, where you watch, you drool over actors and stuff, because I've done that before. There's, there's enough of that going on. You drool over actors, and think, or, you, or you watch this, or you watch things, or you watch that. Instead, I kind of... And, and, and I even got out of the Game of Thrones plot lines. I'd been watching Game of Thrones plot predictions and spoilers and things. And how do you plead Lord Baelish? Again and again, I love that scene. So good. Uh, little finger got got. Um, I'd, funny, I wasn't into Game of Thrones at first, but I did get into it. I have got into it big style. Um, anyway, so I wasn't watching Hunky Men. I wasn't watching Celebs. Although I did watch a bit of, what was it? Chris Evans and it was Chris Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth loving. Um, there was a few of their videos together. They are funny as hell. Chris Evans. There's something about Chris Evans, the actor. I mean, not the team, not the present uh, radio presenter, the actor. Um, yeah, he's very funny. He makes me laugh. He's he's done a few videos that made me laugh. I think there's a one where he's on a chat show and they're putting water down his pants. We'll find that if you haven't. That's good. Anyway. The worms holes that I started to fall down were cooking recipes and nail art. I have been watching nail art one night. I think I must have watched four, four hours of nail art videos, solid. Um, and I was like, ooh, nail art. Because I used to be really into my nail art. I, had I used to have better nails. I had, I had foiling kits. I had all the cornad stamping and all the rest of it. I had all of that. And then I was just like, ooh, I haven't done any of this for a while. So I've actually been buying a bit of nail art stuff. So I've bought some, I bought some more stamp plates, I bought some stamp and polish, um, I've bought some vinyl um, stencils and things and yeah just some more brushes and things and just things like that I used to do. I used to really enjoy it um, as I say but I mean the, I, bought, I did actually find a few for short nails so don't think if you haven't got long nails the nail art isn't for you because it is. There's some really good artists creating things on small nails it just obviously it's not as in depth. Um, but it was really, I've really enjoyed them and I got quite inspired. So I saw this, now actually what I was looking for, now I've got dot and tools and striping brushes, I've got them already, but I saw this and this was reduced from £5, which I do think was a lot of money actually for Primark, and it was reduced to 2 and what you get is three a file and you get three um, tools. So what you get, you get a couple of striping brushes and you get a double-ended silicone tool. Now what these are really good for, apparently, or so I've seen, is for actually pressing your foil down. So you use them to like press the foil down into that, make sure you get your foil pressed into the areas without like getting a finger mark in, the, in your foil or something like that. And I've also seen them used to press things in and all sorts. So it's got two kind of like silicone rubber ends different shapes so that was that and as I say you get two striping brushes and a file so as I say I'm just trying to get my nails to grow back up a bit so I can do a bit more um, because, and trying to get rid of the dry patches I've got I've still got peeling bits on the side of my fingers 
So yeah, that's what I'm going to aim to do anyway. So YouTube wormholes can basically take you anyway. Um, and I'm pleased mine took me where they took me because when you get into Dr. Pimple Popper and sexiest men without shirts, you kind of think, I've gone into bad places here. And then you get into earwax removal and then you think, well, how am I here? I don't know what it is with YouTube. You can start watching something and you'll be here for like hours later. Anyway, so I've got that. And I also bought, I actually had a few beauty things for sale. And I actually really like the Primox. <clears throat> Sorry, I cut the bottom off the packet so I could get it out to photograph it because I couldn't open it. Right, I really like the Primox PS brushes, the rose goldy ones. And um, this one was is a double-ended one. It is a sort of just classic foundation brush and like a really thick, chunky concealer brush at the end. Double-ended. And it was 50p. Had been 150, it was just, just a 50p and they're so soft. I, I have a few of the eye brushes and I think they are so good for the price. Um, they're synthetic so you can use them wet or dry and they don't get damaged. But um, yeah, I just I had loads of these as well, so by all means get this if you if you see it because it was it is actually pretty decent. So that's that. I actually wish I got another one. Not that I need any more brushes, but I wish I got another one. And then I got two lip products. Now Primox lip makeup range, as I say, I can, I think I say this every time. But it's going from strength to strength. They're doing a lot of designer dupes and things like that now. And something that I picked up was this. They've got a new range of Bride Tribe. Everyone's getting married by me. No, that's not true. Everyone who I know someone who knows someone who is getting married. My friend's brother, my next door neighbour. Lots of people get, got married recently, but I'm not one of them. Unfortunately, marry me. No, I'm not that desperate. Don't, don't marry me. Um, I think there's ways and means of going about it rather than pleading on YouTube for someone to marry. Anyway, the range is Bride Tribe and they've got a range of bridal inspired makeup and you know, it's all like, I think it was all like shimmers and things like that. And this is one of the lipsticks and this is the PS Dr Bride Tribe First Kiss Lipstick. And this is in the shade Bachelorette. We don't really use the term Bachelorette. We're a hen. We're hens in the UK. So there you go, Bride Tribe. Now, packaging looks very familiar. It's very Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not going to lie. It's very Charlotte Tilbury. Um who was also very vintage Estee Lauder, who was also very into vintage something else. It's not purely Charlotte Tilbury that's done this style, this colour of packaging, everyone has. But this one is a little bit different. So you've got the rib, you've got the sort of the metallic rose gold rib. You can't really see it because it is that reflective. But what you've got is the end now, as well as hello. You can, oh, you've got it, if you press it down, the lipstick shoots out the bottom. How clever is that? It's got to sort of shoot the lipstick out. I don't even, I've got to have to find a way to describe this in my blog post because I have no idea how to describe it. As I say, this is the shade Bachelorette and it is actually a really, really pretty nude colour. Now, I'm going to have to swatch on the back of my hand because I've got a thing on there. It's like a really pretty nude pink. It's a really pretty colour, actually. It has a, I think there were a couple of colours and they were all quite similar. But I love this sort of pushy pushy thing I love that that's really cool so I've got that and now that was that was three pounds it's pretty nicely pigmented it smells a bit coconutty it's fine it's it's good it was all right for the price and as I say the packaging is really fun so I really like that nice color as well so didn't really need it but it was a nice color right and the final thing I've got is this definitely final thing here I'd already took it out. Now, I noticed this the other day. I've not, I'd actually noticed this on a few people's blogs. So um, when I went in, I had a look at it and it was a range K-pop, which is inspired obviously by Korean beauty and things like that. And um, the product that I went for was another lip color and it was the K-pop Pillow Talk Matte Lip Cushion. And so that's what the packaging looks like. Now, I'm gonna have to read the color, so I'm gonna have to squint a bit. And this is the colour in Cuddle. This is Cuddle. And what you get is a sort of velour lid. And you just squeeze the product out, as you do. And you get a little blob on the end. And you use the cushion to distribute it. And that's what it looks like. It's, it's, it's a matte sort of lip 
thing again it's got a really nice fruity taste and scent though as well and I didn't find it too drying I've only worn it once but it wasn't too drying um, I'll try and get blog pic pictures on the blog to show what it looks like on but it's of that proper baby pink and as I say you just squeeze it into the Valuri applicator at the end and have the, has this got a price this hasn't got a price okay this hasn't got a price I've got a receipt I've got a receipt it's okay I've got a receipt I have a receipt all right, K-pop PT Cashmere. I'm assuming that's that. Pillow Talk Cashmere the lip cushion they call them, and that is two pounds for that. But as I say, it's not it's not like a horrible horrible dry mat. It's actually a pretty decent mat. Um, again, I'll have swatches on the blog so you can see a proper look of the swatches, so you can make up a decision. And I will try and get some face shots. I can't guarantee I'm going to get those on, but I will try and get so you can see what it looks like actually on my lips. Um, so yeah, I will try to do those. It depends depends on me and the weather as to whether I get those done because obviously you know photographing your face sometimes can take a bit more effort than just photographing a swatch so but the swatches are really give you a really good idea of the texture as well I always try to do my swatches so you get a good idea of texture and I always try to describe things as clearly as possible so you know what you're doing so that was that as I say there was a few other things I wish I'd bought on reflection because they're probably not going to be there when I go back but they had loads of summer stuff in um which, as I say, I hope we're going to get a summer. Um, so, yeah. So, let me know your thoughts on everything I bought. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, if you've done any Primark hauls or you've bought anything nice from Primark, particularly if you're plus size, because I've seen some nice people wearing some plus size things they've got in Primark. So, there is some getting some, are getting some like larger sizing in there, which is brilliant. But if you've bought anything that you think I like, or if you found the famous ice cream cushion that I can't find, then please let me know. Um, I'd love to know if it is actually available and I wasn't just dreaming. Um, so please let me know. Um, link me up below. I love, I'm really nosy, so I love watching Primark hauls or reading them. So by all means, link me up. I don't mind if you do that. Um, I'm not one of these bloggers or YouTubers who will say, please don't spam me with your links. I love links. I love seeing what else people do. It's brilliant. I would, we should be one happy community who support each other and so if you do something then let me know um so yeah that's that I, as i say I'll blog post the company will be linked below i'll also do a link to my other social media channels um so you can find my instagram um which i'm finally losing battle with instagram at the minute it is so hard to get engagement on instagram you think you've posted something really good and then you get like 12, 15 likes or something <laughs> never mind I'm still doing it, not going to let us stop us. Um, Twitter, where I ramble about nothing. Um, as I say, other things I'm trying to build slowly. Um, but by all means, follow me there. Find out what else I talk about randomly. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you really soon with another video, which will potentially be another unboxing. It could be, um, it'll either be my... Uh, June Feel Your Nick Pick and Mix or it will be June's Glossy Box. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.